Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for August 6th through the 12th. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now my readings are love readings, uh, typically. Uh, we'll see whatever comes up. Now if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. This reading may not be yours, okay? see whatever comes up for this week in August. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the near future. We're going to get one of these, and then we're going to get one of those. We're going to do the, the regular tarot, and then we're going to get another oracle card. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Imagine that. I can imagine it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, yeah. However that resonates, you know, you could be stuck you know, because of children, that happens sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you can't uh, do what you want because of children. Um, sometimes you want children and your partner does it. Or, you know, this it could go so many ways. It could go so many ways. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Leo, uh, Aries, oh, not Aries, I said Aries, so go with that. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, Leo, Aquarius. Taurus. Scorpio. I think I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, there's some conflict here. There is some conflict here. You may be receiving some messages that, you do, or a message that you don't want to hear. Um, there's a prop. There could be a lack of strength, a lack of, of willpower, maybe even a lack of self-esteem. You could have been dealing with somebody who brought your self-esteem down. Okay, somebody that didn't have good intentions for you, and it, it has made you feel less than worthy. I mean, that could certainly be the case. It feels as though, you know, somebody could be watching you, or you could be watching them. There is also a completion here with that world card, so whatever that means. Let's get some more cards. Yikes. So, yeah. Yeah, there's, there is definitely some turmoil, okay, some mental turmoil. You could probably, you could be trapped in your mind about which way to go, about what to do next. Your intuition is telling you to do something, and, or your intuition is talking to you, but you may be, you know, wondering if you're making the right decision, whatever this decision is. You may be thinking, you know what, I don't want to get taken advantage of. You may be tempted very tempted this week maybe you have uh, come across somebody could be a, a water sign I don't, I don't know that is tempting you in in many ways and you probably don't know what to do you know you you probably feel as though you know there's an opportunity for a new beginning your intuition is is talking to you I mean this could be part of your script it could be and you maybe they're they're sending you all kinds of, of lovely messages but you're wondering if you know if, if they have any follow through, if, if you're going to get it taken advantage of, if you're going to, um, you know, if you're being naive here, because I do see that there is definitely a lot of attraction, there's a lot of sexual attraction, there's lust perhaps, 
um, there there's probably you know you know with the with the strength card there's there's also that's a card of, of, of beauty as well so uh, you know I, I wonder if perhaps there is some sort of opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody that you are deeply attracted to you feel a you feel a strong connection with them maybe you guys um, have a intuitive um, connection you know where you communicate with each other even telepathically I mean that could be the case because there's definitely a strong connection with somebody but it feels as though there's some kind of um, family dynamics that are getting in the way it could be a child Okay, it could be a child that's getting in the way from this blossoming. So I feel as though, you know, you're pretty conflicted here about what to do, where to go, how to, how to handle this situation. It feels as though you're wondering, you know, does this person really have good intentions for me? You know, I think that somebody is probably trying to sweep you off your feet and you're like, eh, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure that... that you know, this is the right move for me to make. <laughs> Let me get this zoomed in. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough. I just realized I'm talking pretty low. <laughs> you know, I think that there's definitely some family feuds. This is your challenge, your challenge position, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, reverse. This is like there's some family feuds. It could be coming from a child in regards to the steps that you probably want to take. I think that you are tempted and you know, now you have to decide whether to, what to do. I think that you're really conflicted whether to choose this temptation or maybe it's a child. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see what this is. We're going to see, get some clarifiers here. You know, with that devil card being right in the middle, you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well, but this is definitely lust. It's, it's, it's uh, a very, and with both of these together, I think there's a definitely a, um, undeniable temptation to start something but it may not lead to wish fulfillment okay and this could just be you know a wish maybe you're wishing for something and you you're looking for happily ever after you're looking for abundance you're looking for love but maybe you're just tempted by the wrong thing okay so I think that you do have to make a judgment call this week as to what you what's going to keep balance in your life okay because that's when the when the devil energies will come in they'll come in to challenge you so I feel like you are going to be challenged this week by some sort of well, strong temptation to be swept off your feet. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. And you may literally be swept right off your feet by somebody that doesn't have your best intentions at heart. But, but they're telling you they do. You know, And in the long run, it could affect your family. It could affect your children if you make the wrong decision. So just, just be careful. Um, I think that you're really stuck right now. You you know, you're being called to look at something from a new perspective to really, really look at this situation from all angles. Okay. I feel like oh, there is some sort of disorder that is being caused because you're you're very conflicted. I think that you are. You're very conflicted about what is the right decision to make. You know, what 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 to do. Do I, do I go with this, perhaps it's a player, and you don't even see it as a player because perhaps you're, you know, whatever. I don't even, um, you're reluctant to let go. You're reluctant to not play this game, to not um, get involved because I think that you want to get involved with the situation. I think that you want to get involved, but there's other people. There's other people in the mix that you have to consider. So therefore, it affects your own wish fulfillment, whatever this is. There's an opportunity for a completion here, a new beginning with that world card. But this is when you stop. You have to stop being involved in, in, in some kind of game or some kind of...
competition of some sort. But there's a lot of, of worry about it, a worry about what the right thing to do is. There's definitely some chaos this week about what you're going to do, about a commitment, about getting in a commitment. You know, I think that, you know, whatever it is that you're tempted to do, it probably doesn't lead to a commitment. It probably doesn't lead to a whole lot of content. So if you're if you're trying to make a decision, your intuition is telling you to do something, or your intuition is telling you that this isn't right, really listen to it because your intuition is absolutely talking to you. I feel like, you know, if you if you need to take more time to make this decision, whatever it is, take all the time that you need to make because I feel like you know what you have to do. I think that if you could be patient, be patient and let time to, let time, you know, be the answer. Okay, let the, let the answer come in time. You will get the answer that you need. I feel, and you know, it's funny, before I started this reading, I saw this card, but I didn't say it. Right before I started this reading, I was thinking about the Empress. And, you know, she is a woman that walks in purpose. She doesn't chase people or opportunities. They chase her. They see her beauty. She has a lot of wisdom. And this is you, Taurus. It's you. Remember to, to use your wisdom when making whatever decision this is. I think that you have an opportunity to, to perhaps go in a direction that is driven by lust with that devil card. And it may not be the right decision, okay? You, you know, you, this may just be like a, a stepping stone, you know, a test a test of your perseverance, a test of your worth, okay, a test of, of um, your patience, because this is impulsive, lack of patience, lack of uh, self-esteem, self-confidence, so, you know, I wonder if perhaps you are starting to You know, I think that you're starting to step outside of your shell and, and be more outgoing. And I think because you're being, you're being more outgoing and you're being more open and getting more creative and vibrating at a higher level, I think you're receiving some sort of offer from somebody. You're receiving an offer, but I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to lead to wish fulfillment. I feel like somebody sees your beauty they see your attractiveness and somebody is probably communicating with you I do I feel like somebody sees your sees your sees your beauty so I think that somebody is is in your love and your compassion and your you know what you're worth like that's what it looks like but it feels like it doesn't there's discontent here ah you you might not have time for this person perhaps you know, somebody wants to give you an offer, you know, of a, of a new beginning of some sort. And it feels as though you're not feeling like you're ready for this commitment. You're ready for this partnership, you know, because this is a partnership. So I feel like right now you're really focused on your job, your finances, everything but love. But you're tempted. You have desires with that devil card. There's, there's desires that need to be met. That's what the devil card is. There's desires that need to be met. And I think that what happens is is that you may lose a little bit of your strength to fight those desires. You know, to fight those desires, you know. And so you may, you know, have to make a decision. If you want to let somebody in or not, if you let somebody in, they want a commitment and you don't, then that poses a problem. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so you guys are really focused on, on your stability, your security, your home, your, your, your family, your money, your everything but love, that's what it looks like to me, you're focused on everything but love, including, you know, lost, and I'm going to be real here, that devil is lost, okay, so you're, you, you've got these desires that need to be met, but you're still focused on your job, yeah, you, and then I think that you're dealing with another person that, may want a little bit more so just be careful what you get yourself involved in 
Um, so I feel like, you know, you don't, you don't, you may not have time to, because you're really focused on your job. You know, you're really focused on everything but love. Okay. And, and it's not that you're not a lover. You're beautiful and you're lover and you're compassionate and you're sensual, you know, the whole nine yards. But it doesn't look to me like you're looking for a commitment. Yeah, it's like you're not. You're not looking for any long-term contract here. So you may reject an, an offer because you don't want to, you know, contract. <laughs> but I do believe that you are being offered a contract. You know, you're being offered some sort of... Uh, Illusion. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're being offered some sort of, uh, I think it's fun. You're being offered some sort of fun, some sort of partnership, but I think you may reject it because there's other stuff going on behind the scenes, you know. I feel like your intuition is, is telling you that, you that you shouldn't go down this road, but the devil's whispering in your ear, just go. You know you want to go. You know you want to go. You know you do. So, but then if you get involved, then, you know, it affects everybody else involved. And then can, I mean, what happens if you get involved? <laughs> what happens if you get involved with this person? That's what I would like to know. Um, children could be affected. That's for damn sure. Um, and your mother, and so not all of you are, but definitely your motherhood comes into play with this card. I think there's the birth of something new here. That could be. There's the birth of something new, but you may be like, you know, I, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. I'm a little bit confused about where I want to go, what I want to do, if I want this contract or not, you know, because I'm not really looking for love at this time. <laughs> so some of you are looking for love, but you you may not be. You may not be really. You know, you think you're looking for love, but then when you get right down to the nitty gritty, it's like, no, I have to go. I have to work. I don't have time for this. I, I really don't have time for this. I got to work. I got to work. You know, so I feel like because here's the I got to work. I got to work. Work, 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 work. So I feel as though this is a week of dealing with temptations. Now, You could be dealing with any sign, okay? We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have Pisces here. We have uh, Scorpio, Cancer, P Cancer, Pisces here. We have Taurus here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. We have Capricorn. We have Leo, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. And I already said the other signs. Could be any sign that you're dealing with. We have Pisces again here. We have Aries here. It could, you could be dealing with anybody. But there's an undeniable attraction here that I feel like, you know, for you to, to say no is, is going to be hard. It's going to be really hard because somebody is making you a solid offer and you probably, you know, have an opportunity for a new beginning, but you may not be quite interested in what, what you know, getting in a, a commitment like tomorrow. So, um, and this person probably wants that like right now. So, I'm not sure what the hell this is, but yeah, it's like, you know what, you're not... I feel like you guys just don't have the confidence and the strength to, I mean, you don't, you don't have the confidence and the strength and the willpower probably to even say no to this, this temptation, which I hope you do, I really do, but it feels like you're, you're, you're probably not really, giving much energy to anything long term at this time yeah this is very come and go come and go uh one night standish one night standish energy like you know what this is just a, a one night thing so beware and maybe that's what you want maybe that is what you and that's what it looks like you want that's what it looks like you want but what does the other person want um, and that doesn't, this can go, you do whatever you want. This reading may not be for you. Um, lies, cheating, sneaky, shady behavior. Um, there's some sort of getting away with something, sneaking away.
it's not meant to be it's not it's not destiny it's not supposed to be long term so whatever this is I feel like this is a week of being tempted by um, you know I already said it lust and and you know you you going down that path and wanting to get out go you know come and go whether it's you or the other person I don't know somebody you know they they whatever and then they leave and you know to you I feel like I you know I hate to say that but I feel like you're you're just like you know what I got I got work to do here I got work to do and you know so I'm not sure what this is it's really I think it's about you trying to do the right thing for everybody involved including your children I think that either you or somebody that you're dealing with is being tempted by you know desires okay desires and there's an opportunity for a new beginning but I feel like it's not it's not meant to be long term it's not meant to be whatever this is somebody you know does the deed and goodbye goodbye I mean I'm not going to get into it much further than that but I'm going to get another angel romance card just because I feel as though um maybe you don't maybe you don't want a, a relationship or commitment right now because you do have children so maybe that's what it is it's like you know what yeah we can whatever and but I can't do this right now not the whole long-term commitment thing and the other person is probably like huh what so be careful be careful um Oh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in work in your love life. This is perfect. So this is this is advice, okay? Remember who you are. Remember what you're worth. Yeah, there may be some temptations, there may be some desires, but the right one is worth waiting for. Okay? So maybe you need to find the strength that's been lost to say no to this temptation. Somebody is lacking strength to say no to this temptation find the strength and be patient because you don't have to chase allow some the right one to come after you the right people will see your light and they will come huh. we're gonna get one of these You're definitely vibrating at a very high level with this card, uh, the Queen of uh, Pentacles and the Queen of Wands upright. You're, you're vibrating at, you're, you're very beautiful at this time, very beautiful. And people, wherever that Queen of Wands is, it's under here, buried. Um, anyway, there's a, there's a high attraction level this week. So somebody is definitely attracted and, and, and uh, pursuing you. That's what I see. You're being pursued for sex. I mean, I could lie about it, but I have a hard time with that. It's the truth. It is the truth. Oh, goodness, we got two. We're going to keep going because they're too long for me to read two. Just one. Ooh, interesting. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. In the chaos of modern life, in the constant fluctuations of our minds, it can be difficult to remember that a sublime sanctuary lies within, yet it is always there. Beneath the ceaseless activity, there is an endless, vast spaciousness that restores and connects us to something greater something that exists outside of time. Some might call it eternity. Within that sanctuary, sacred sound is felt rather than heard. That sacred sound is actually the reverberating heartbeat of the entire universe. Your own heart's rhythms, rhythm sounds within the greater universal heartbeat. The totality of life, all of your being can be felt as one through listening to and feeling for the sacred sound of the heart beating within you. 
It is through this heartbeat that we experience a love that is more than preference or attachment. This is a love that inspi inspires, energizes, and moves us to create, even beyond what we once thought was possible. Your love for life, the need to feel alive and express yourself, and the quest for what is truly fulfilling. The need to feel alive. That's where those desires come from. These are the sacred urges that the sacred urges that rebel us against fear and promote passion for being alive that flow through the blood and can be felt through the beating of your heart. This oracle has a message for you. There is a way of the mind which can make mountains out of molehills even and when it thinks it's turning mountains into molehills. Then there is the way of the heart. It is the subterrain. It is subterrain. It moves subtly beneath possible obstacles, intelligently shifting with exquisite sensitivity, sensing the way forward through dangerous pathways and responding to what it is before it even occurs in the physical world. Dangerous pathways. Wonderful. However, with the heart's intelligence, we cannot see and know in the same way that we do when we allow the mind to direct us. We have to be open to another way if we want to benefit from the innate intelligence of the heart. Right here. The mind sees plans and strategies. The heart feels, responds, senses, and intuits. When we walk the path of the heart, we must feel and respond rather than plan our way. So basically, this is saying follow your heart. It is, it is a different way to live and create. It is closer to the earth and to the source of life itself. It makes complete sense. It is not for those who are lacking in courage and trust, because you are not one of those. You are being asked to trust your heart and to drop into it. The mind is important, but it cannot supplant the heart. The role of the mind is to serve the truths of the heart. That is freaking crazy shit. Whew. The role of the mind is to serve the truths of the heart. That is, to create the spacious chamber of receptiveness into which the sacred rhythm of your heartbeat can resound. This oracle comes with guidance for you. Deep within, you know what to do, and you know what is true. It matters not whether the mind and its plans seem to agree with your inner sense. Your willingness to trust your heart and to rebel against fear will serve you well. <laughs> rebel against fear. Come on now. Okay. Your willingness to trust your heart and rebel against fear will serve you well. Let your heart lead you. Be sure your faith and trust. Be, be sure of your faith and trust in what you feel. And there's lack of faith and trust. Somebody has hurt you really badly. And so you've lost your self-confidence, your self-worth. And you lack faith and trust in this offer that you're receiving. And so therefore you're trying to bury it and say, you know what, I can't do this, I can't do this, i got to work, I don't have time for this. <laughs> it's protective protecting yourself so anyway I feel like there's a new opportunity Taurus um, follow your heart if you can talk to you later